Welcome back to ITS129. Now that we've built our tables, yeah, so I have a, this table, I renamed it C products one. This is the old table. It has information in it, yeah. And I have the new table that I just built, yeah, that we just did, we had, uh, we use SQL to build this table. Now you notice that the seed ID is auto number. So that means the data is automatically put in there. So you don't have to type it in. So let's go ahead and put some information into this table using the insert into command in SQL. So I'm gonna close this guy. And once again, come to the create tab, query design, close this table, go to SQL view. Now, once here, again, once again, what we're gonna do is we wanna insert data into the seed products table. So the way that that command is written is like insert into, once again, reserve words are capitalized. You don't have to capitalize them, but they are capitalized uh, as a standard format. Seed products. Right. Now this part is very important. You know, you have to make sure that you type in the name of the fields very carefully. Yeah, very, very carefully there. Yeah. So I'm gonna kind of, you know, so you make sure that you copy these guys over here. So again, we're gonna put in seed name, comma, seed. Flavor, okay. seed price, seed country, seed purchase date. Yeah, and that's it. Now, once again, the reason why we're not putting in, we're not putting in the seed ID field is because it's an auto number. If you had made it a short text or a number field, you would have to go ahead and make sure you include it here. Okay. Then I follow that up with the information that I want to put in. Now, the seed name, because it's a character field, right? It's a character field. Yeah, short text field, character field you have to put in apostrophe and what it is. So uh, I'm gonna look, um, once again, I'm gonna look here. Li Hing Mui, yeah? So I'm gonna put in Li Hing Mui, comma, yeah? And I'm gonna put in sour, apostrophe sour, comma, then I'm going to put in 8.95. Again, that's a currency field here, right? So I'm going to put in 8.95. I don't have to, so please don't type in the dollar sign. And because it's a numeric field, the currency field is a numeric field, you don't put in apostrophes around it. Yeah. And then uh, once again, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take a look at the data, China, it's from China, apostrophe China, and then comma, and our last field. Now the last field is a date field, seed purchase date. So with that one, you have to enter the date with a hashtag over here, and 8-12-2019. So 8, I'll, I'll type it in this way, 12. 2019. Close it with a hashtag. Close it with a parenthesis. Yeah. So we have a close parenthesis and open parenthesis here. Right. Okay, go ahead. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go make sure I close my table so I can put some data in it. Uh, again, I'm going to put in my seed products table. So I'm going to click on the design tab, run my query. It says you're about to append one row. That means you're about to put in a row. So I'm going to click yes. Yeah. I'm going to check it out. 
wow, there's a Lee Moore Summer 899 count. Wow, that's inside here. Now, um, at this point, I would recommend you make sure that you copy this, right? You copy this here. Make sure you copy it. And you put it in something like a notepad or notepad plus plus. Uh, so that way, you know, you can copy and paste it with your assignment because you're gonna to have to enter three rows of data. So let's go into it. I'm gonna do second row leaving mango. Wow. So I'm just gonna come in, I'm just gonna change some of the values here. Mango. And then add, in addition to mango, a sweet, 9.25, little sweet, 9.25. Line 25, and it's from Taiwan. So I'm going to type in Taiwan here. Taiwan, and the last date is 9 16 2019. 9 16 2019. So that looks about right for the second row. So I'm going to Design tab and run it. About to append one more. Let's go see. Does it have? Oh yeah, it has two here. And you notice that they're pretty much the same as this guy. But this guy has one more row. One more row. Then we're gonna we're gonna do it together. Yeah. So I'm gonna again see this. But again, we're not typing because this is we're not typing this information because it's auto number. So I'm gonna do it again. Close my seed products table. And I'm gonna just, once again, I'm gonna copy this guy, copy and make sure you put it inside, you know, something like a notepad or, or even Word, because that's what you will need to submit for your assignment. Yeah. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna change seedless plum. I'm gonna change this to seedless plum. Don't seedless in between in between the parentheses, right? The uh, commas, right? Apostrophe, sorry. Plum. Yeah. And it is sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. And its the cost is 1129. 11 29. Um, and it's from Japan. So I'm going to type in Japan, and the, the date was 9-24-19. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to click on my design tab and run. And I'm going to check out my data. Oh yeah, now I've got three rows of data just like the seed product, the original seed products data. Now, you will have to do what we just did in terms of inserting data into your seed store. So you would have to make sure that this date data is in your new seed store table that you've created. And that's what will be, that is part of assignment six. So until we see you the next time when we talk about alter, update, and delete, uh, please uh, start doing your homework.